Police officers mistakenly record themselves with motorist phone after extorting 150,000 naira from him. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. According to the victim who shared the video, the officers abducted him and forcefully transferred the money from him using the POS agent in Sapale Delta State. According to the victim who shared the video, the officers abducted him and forcefully transferred. Okay. A trending video has showed two police officers who allegedly extorted 150,000 naira from a motorist accidentally recording themselves on the victim's phone. So this one is a case of the Lord has fought my battle for me. Well, it's not yet fought completely if they are not uh, made to give him back every penny they collected from him. This is the typical Nigerian story, the story we hear on a daily basis, most of which does not make the news. A lot of such news does not make the, a lot of such incident does not make the news because maybe they're like, let me just give them. I have things to do. Yes, you cannot, you cannot say you want to slow down your day or maybe you have a lots of activities to do. Maybe you are choked. Maybe you have somebody in the hospital and you're, you know, coming online, making video about sincerely the people who don't just have that time. It happens to them. They don't even, they'll just say it and they move on. The abnormal has become the new normal in Nigeria. And the normal is now the abnormal, unfortunately. I just want to hear a part of people that say, ah, okay, oh, the police, after they did this, oh, they refunded him his money. Because that's what we want to hear. Hearing this news does not even, at the end of the day, it is not the results we want. We want a Nigeria where, after such news are, are actually heard, they take, they act upon it, they discipline these officers, and they get to know that if you do it, in fact, they'll put a law. If you do this thing and you are caught, this is what you're going to be facing. It might even cost you your job. Sincerely, you're extorting 150000 Did you Did you work for him? Did you give him money to keep for you? Do you even know if it is money or not? A lot of things happen. The poor against the poor. Why? 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 I keep asking. The same person you're extorting money from, so be sincere, do you think you're, you do you think maybe because he is dressed better than you, do you think he does not have problems too? Like I don't understand. What on you on fifty thousand? Ha. The news in detail, please stay with us. According to the victim who shared the video, the officers abducted him and forcefully transferred the money from him using a POS agent in Sapale Delta State. This happened after they kidnapped me and forcibly transferred 150,000 naira from my account through one of their POS agents. Where they take their victims to in Sapale, Delta State. He captured the video. The officers who had filmed themselves for some seconds before one of them observed the phone camera was active and had been capturing them were had asking the car owner how much he had left in the account. How much did you say they inside? This boy not see, see his phone, check everywhere. Wait, not be recording the record so the policeman we heard saying in pidgin English in the video. A typical case. A typical case of a typical case of um of this of corruption, of extortion of the police. And when people come out to, to say things about the police, the government actually think that citizens are actually making noise. And they say Nigerians are lazy. They say we're making noise. This is one of the things we cannot keep quiet to such. So today is you, tomorrow is next to the next person. What if this, this particular man now does not even have any money on him? Do you know he, may, he might have been, what, what am I even saying? He will be framed for something just to make sure that he rallies around to get the money. He will be. Some even go as fast shooting people and killing people for reasons I don't, for money you did not work and keep in my pockets. For money, where we say you don't work for, you don't work for the money. Maybe me and you, they, they all zoo. Ha, now wow. This corruption is already systematic. It will take 100 prayer warriors, including Saleh Pastor, <laughs> with a scheme to deliver the Nigerian police from bribery and corruption. I tell you to take more than, more than this, no jokes, more than this. Don't, don't underestimate the walking wonder powers of God. <laughs> hey, my goodness. Ah, not funny, not funny at all. Sincerely, this is not funny. If this is true, there is nothing like a starting. 
It is simply robbing him of 150,000 at uniform and gunpoint. Armed robbers in uniform. May God deliver us from all of you terrorists, bandits, Boko Haram and armed robbers, both in Nigeria uniform and... <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, this is a laughter coming from a place of pain, sincerely. You, anyone can be the victim. And it can... And these people, they want, they're always coming to say, oh, the, the, the people should cooperate. Cooperate with who? If you see the police officers, as I'm telling you, you see armed robbers, you see police officers, sincerely, there are many people, no jokes in Nigeria, no jokes, that would prefer to go to the armed robbers instead of going to the police. Why? Because I don't seem to see any difference. In fact, the law is going to be on the side of the police officer because they will so twist the case and you're going to be, you know, before you know it, they, 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 they rub you in and they extort even more from you. Huh. Let them be identified and brought to book. Their thief destroy Nigeria's image. Nigeria's image. <laughs> Nigeria's image. An image that's in Nigeria here. If the image we are, use, we are using to see each other, you, your neighbor image, how it be for your eyes? <laughs> Ah, somebody wrote, that book never fool. Oh, my God. Why are you people like this? Yeah? Hmm. Rapid response squad. RRS, the new name for SARS. It is, name, it is them again. The new SARS. They have not changed their name. They have changed their name, but they have not changed their modus operandi. Sincerely, it is not just the SARS people. It is seeming like, you know, most of the police officers, they are going to be blaming it on them not being paid. You. See, this thing is individual. If you're going to be blaming it on not paid well, on this and that, how, what are you going to say to people who are in your shoes that the government have not also been paying well or they have not been receiving as in good salaries or salaries that equal to their job? It's everywhere. If somebody comes out and says, oh, it's because they don't pay you well, does that mean, do you know the person's, the next person's trouble? Do you know? Unfortunately, a lot of people commented that these police, police officers should be brought to book. Please, which book and by who? There is no book for such thing in Nigeria. Nigeria is rotten and beyond repair. What did the police authority do to Abaki Yari? Sincerely, that particular matter, eh? Bros, that place where they go, that story no get end, no get end at all. There is difference between finished and completely finished. I am afraid that Nigeria is the later. God, hmm. God help us. Sincerely. What offense do people come in to do to pass with huge sums of money on the road? I still can't wrap my head around how people pay even 50000 to policemen on the road, no matter the offense. I can't give any policeman more than 2000 naira. Oga, take me to the station. I will prefer to pay myself. There is there, no matter the amount. <laughs> Okay, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.